guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is will Media academy today we're going to be doing a full tutorial on a, on a, one of the images that i did last week uh it's a retouch background cleanup uh, you name it color grading everything is packed on this uh tutorial and i'm gonna give you a free action pick that i'm gonna be using on this video so let's start so let's import one of the pictures i'm just gonna do one i think this is the first time we are doing a full body picture on this channel okay so we're just gonna reduce the highlights a bit like that increase the whites and now uh, let's just leave it like that I think I'll just it's fine. This was shot on the Canon 80D, as you can see on top. Okay, let's start. So let's just click open. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is clean up the background. So just take your page two and just do a circular motion on all the pages. Circular motion. I don't know if you saw my video on the background cleanup, but we're gonna use the gradient method. So, what you wanna go is go on the uh, ratio to and just put your ratio to 4.5. It's good for Instagram posts. So, after that, just take your rectangle to select the sides, press Ctrl T, then Control this for transform. Press control then stretch. Do it on the other side. Control T again, then stretch. So you want to make sure when you're selecting uh, you don't select your subject because once you press control tree to stretch everything. So this is fix up on the top part, control T. So this really works for people with small programs also. If you have if you have um, a small background, you can just easily stretch it out. This is fixed lower part. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So the next part is cleaning up the background like removing all the wrinkles you see there's wrinkles in the background so what you want to do is duplicate the layer go to selection go to subject selection this really does a really good job for me just press um, you wanted to select the background not the subject right so you just press um, the right click then say inverse they need to select the background they want to go to the gradient too i think on uh, my previous tutorials i did teach about this gradient too on how to use it on your background so you can check it out <coughs> one of my videos i'm sure it's there so you want to click the gradient too my one is mine is already set up like this you can check the the the, 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 the full video on the sorry about the noise you can check the full video on how to clean up the background on one of my videos it clearly explains how to do it so let's go so what you want to do is click the first part click the background color second part just click the lower color okay then next you just take the grinding to stretch it down like this just like that just like that you got a clear background just like that uh, so the thing about the gradient, you can see that below it doesn't fix anything because as you can see from our gradient Here there's no color Because I didn't want uh, the background to look so flat. So I removed the color on the ending so that it won't look so flat Okay So what you can do uh, To fix up the lower part just go to filter then play then surface play Clean up the lower part. As you can see, just waiting for it to load, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, perfect. So we got a clear 
background just like that so as you can see the selection doesn't do a perfect job when it comes to the hair as you can see it's eating some of the hair so what you want to do is go to your mask you just come here this is the mask to the circular thing the mask to right then you want to choose a black brush make sure it's big big and big like yeah that's too big big yeah make it black that's black so you just want to pump it up like this okay so let's go to the shoes i'm oh, sorry i think that's too big For the shoes are you know again again so that doesn't eat some of your object i think we're doing a good job when it comes to the background so as you can see our background is way too flat and it's not flattering it's like just purple like that it's just too flat so i want to create a vignette so what you want to do is do a circle <coughs> around your subject this is circle then press right click then inverse then you're going to take the curves to then you just reduce it like that i'm reducing it Go to filter, black, cash and black. Make sure you increase this. You see, you have a vignette. So you're just gonna reduce the reduce the opposite a bit because it's too much. It's too much. Let's just reduce the opposite a bit. Yeah. So now we don't have a, like a flat, flat paper background. We have like shadowy on the side, which is a good look. It makes your pictures. A pop a little bit which is very very nice better than having a flat background so we're gonna create another circle on the face like this then calves then you wanna increase your calves like that then future play guide and play increase it yeah make sure you increase it here in case they want to to show you the before and after before the <coughs> Caves, you see? Wow. Wow. It's nice. It's nicer that way. You don't have a flat background. So most of the people who see my pictures, they think that it's the lighting which create that effect, but no, it's not the lighting. I created using caps. Another secret that you didn't know. Okay, let's get to the retouching, the good part. I know we haven't done it like we haven't done like a full body retouch uh, on this channel, but it's the first time for everything. So let's just mix these layers. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this retouch pack. This is my personal retouch pack, and I'm gonna be giving that to you guys for supporting my channel. I'm gonna put it on the link, and you just download it using Google Drive. I'm gonna put the link in the description. So let's do this. <coughs> so what you wanna do? Uh, just click the full body. Just click it like that. Loading. It's loading. Okay. So this works for both those who want to do the mixer brush and those who want just want to use the brush. If you want to use the brush, you just go to this black layer and just start shading. Just start shading like that. It's already working. It's retouching just like that very 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 simple just like that that's how you do it but I, I, me basically i don't like using the, the brush just black is for erasing when using it's using a mask right so black is basically for erasing <coughs> okay so then i'm more of a mix of brush person you can just copy the settings here i think i did the video on the mixer brush also you can go check it out in one of my my videos is there i'm sure so let's just do the mixer brush now okay oh the reason why i clicked uh, mostly when you open the mixer brush you do you have the color of the current brush you're using so you just click something else so that it doesn't affect your picture then you start brushing yeah Okay, let's start. So, brush is just back and forth, back and forth, so that you blend the light parts and the dark parts. 
So you just go back and forth, back and forth. It's easy like that. Back and forth, back and forth. Go to the nose, back and forth, back and forth. You see, it's easy. Most people don't like using the mixer brush because it consumes a lot of time. But I found it so effective for me. Like, it leaves your skin with a good look. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Back and forth. Let's keep on going, guys. Just make sure you mix your light parts with the dark parts. Just like that. Just like that. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I think we're doing a really good job. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's continue. Let's go down. Fix up this part. Just like that, we have done a recharge and it was fast. Okay, the next thing is to you just click the sharpening tool. I have a sharpening like thing over here. So you go to the top top layer, just click sharpen. You sharpen your image. Yeah. You'll see it gets the job done. Most people have been asking me how do you get your picture so sharp? And that's the trick. That's basically the trick that I use to get my picture so sharp. Okay. What's next? Uh, eye widening. Okay. So you can see it's too sharp. You can reduce this layer like to 50% if you want, but I usually just leave it like that. I'll fix it up in Lightroom. First, the demo I'm doing a full tutorial on now. I'll go about my pictures soon. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how I get it done. Okay, let's do the eye widening. So there's a part here called eye whitening. Just click it. Where is it? Here, eye whitening. Guys, this tutorial, this action pack is it's all you want. No lie. This is all you want. Okay, let's do this. Just clean up the eyes. White. So I'm just gonna clean up just like that. Just like that. Just like that. I think <coughs> this is a really nice picture guys. This is a really nice picture. So let's just do some uh Spotlight about what I think I told you that in one of my videos. I'm just combining everything I told you guys into this video. So let's just do a, a spotlight. Let's do a spotlight. I think I told you this. You should know how to do this, guys. It's very, very easy. Just create a new layer. Uh, sorry. Hey, just click, click the, uh, the round two over here. Uh, the circle two. Um, okay. Let's do the top part. So you wanna go click then select then inverse select inverse just right click select inverse uh, you wanna fill it with a black color color then black just like that then control D or deselect uh, reduce the opacity to like the liking like 16 percent that's fine uh, go to filter play and guys and play we don't want our circle to be like really really sharp so we just want to increase it guys it's easy to make a spotlight guys that's like that so what you want to do <coughs> we want our subject to be in front of the spotlight right so that it doesn't tuck in the legs like just that deep there so we're gonna do select uh, just just select um of the eye thingy over here then select then uh, subject subject 
okay click the subject right subject okay then turn on the upper layer uh take the eraser too and just erase so basically now our subject is in front of the spotlight just like that just like that so go on save our document then go to lightroom so catch you in lightroom guys so you're gonna save it as psd basically so let's just I usually create a new folder and that folder that I'm editing in is edited. So basically I start with Photoshop, then go to Lightroom, just like that. Okay, let's continue to Lightroom. So let's just close this. Already saved. Uh, I think it didn't save. Saved. So I'm gonna close this and go to Lightroom. So it's serving now. Okay, let's see it. Edited. I think it did two copies. I don't know why. So just we're gonna open Lightroom. Lightroom. I don't do much in Lightroom. It's basically, I've done most of it in. Oh, this is my last session, guys. Right? So let's just uh, go to library and import. I didn't chop anything on this video. I wanted you guys to see the actual process that I do when editing my pictures. So I did the whole process and now import. I don't do any color grading in, in Photoshop. I use Lightroom. So I retouch my photos using Photoshop thing. I import them into Lightroom. So let's do this. I think this is one of my longest videos. I'm sorry guys, but just bear with me. It's gonna be really helpful. So you can see your picture is really, really, really sharp. So let's fix that. Let's go here. Luminance. Yeah, I know most people don't like it, but I use it just like that. Just like that. There's no more noise, just like that. Okay, let's bump up the sharpness a bit. My pictures, you know my pictures are really, really sharp. My, all my pictures are sharp. It's because I like sharp pictures. Just increase the rate just a bit. I think our rate just is fine. Okay. 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 It's looking. It's giving. It's giving, guys. It's giving. Okay. Let's increase the vibrance. Like 25. 25. Yeah, 26 is fine. Okay. I don't do much in, in Lightroom, but yeah, just some sauce. Just some sauce. Just click some points, three points. I think I did a full video on the Lightroom. I know some people don't like Lightroom, so they need to look it up. So if you want to know in depth about Lightroom, just go check out the Lightroom video that I did. I did a full tutorial on this explaining the curves and everything. So I just want to click three points in this. You just want to pump up this part. This part, this part. This is like a vivid version of the of the Instagram post you see on Instagram, like the one written vivid. I think that's the one. Just uses this cap thing. Okay, just like that. Yeah, like that. I know I'm just looking a bit orange, but we're gonna fix that. Don't worry about it. So you wanna go here and increase the orange part. So the skin tone is made of red and orange. I think you all know that. So we just wanna increase the orange. Increase the red. So luminance basically is brightening up that color that we are we are moving up. That's luminance. Just like that. So I reduce the orange a bit since our skin is looking a bit orange, like two percent, two percent. Just like that. Just like that. I'm feeling like our our, our 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 legs are a bit dark, so let's take the gradient to and fix that up too. So what you basically do is take the gradient to select the lower part. So the red part are the selected part basically. Oh, sorry, it's a masking light from so just like that. Just increase the exposure a bit, bit a bit, just a bit. I want to show you. Uh, let me off then on. Yeah. Basically, this is my editing process, guys. 
I didn't do I didn't do much in Lightroom, but I think this elite picture I'll I'll um, put uh, I'll just create a folder with the action pick that I used, the raw file and the finished file, so that you can play around and if, uh, if uh, you try my using my action pick or editing, just send me the pictures on my WhatsApp. I will say, I'll actually put the link of my WhatsApp. In the in the description below so i'll just give you this raw file so that you can play around with it and you can show me the result that you come up with when you edit so let's just export let's save this file this tutorial uh, i think i'd show you how i export my pictures to be really really small but good in the, uh, good quality when it comes to social media i think i did one of those so let's just export yeah exporting just like that let's go and check it out okay I have a lot of files guys okay there it is there it is we got our picture guys we got our picture we got our picture there it is so you're done until we meet up next time guys please keep on supporting share share the link with the other people i'm giving you this free action pay guys so thank you bye